Regulation of mRNA stability. The regulation of mRNA stability refers to the control mechanisms that determine the lifespan or degradation rate of mRNA molecules within cells. The stability of mRNA molecules is crucial for maintaining proper gene expression levels and responsiveness to cellular signals. Here are some key aspects of mRNA stability regulation. First is AUH elements Aries. Many mRNAs contain specific sequence motifs known as AU-rich elements Aries within their three untranslated regions UTRS. Aries can function as CIS acting regulatory elements that influence mRNA stability. They are recognized by RNA binding proteins RPPS that can either promote or inhibit mRNA degradation. RPPS that bind to Aries include destabilizing factors such as the AUH element RNA binding proteins, AUBPS and stabilizing factors, such as the poly A binding proteins PABPS. Second is deadenylation. Deadenylation is a critical step in mRNA degradation. It involves the removal of the poly A tail at the three end of mRNA molecules. Deadenylation is catalyzed by deadenylases which shorten the poly A tail and destabilize the mRNA. Deadenylation is often the rate-limiting step in mRNA decay and can be regulated by various factors, including RPPS and mRNAs. Third is exonucleolic decay. After deadenylation, mRNA molecules undergo exonucleolic decay, exonucleases, such as the exosome complex, degrade mRNA from either the 3 and 3 5 decay or the 5 and 5 3 decay. The exosome complex is a multi subunit complex responsible for RNA degradation in the nucleus and cytoplasm. The degradation rate of mRNA can be influenced by RPPS and factors that interact with the exosome complex. Number fourth is decapping and 5 3 decay. MRNA decay can also occur through decapping and 5-3 decay pathway. In this pathway, the 5-cap structure of mRNA is removed by the decapping enzyme complex, exposing the mRNA to exonucleases that degrade the mRNA from the 5 end. The decapping step is regulated by various factors including RPPS and specific signaling pathways. The fifth one is RNA binding proteins RBPS. RBPS play a crucial role in mRNA stability regulation. They can interact with mRNA molecules, either promoting or inhibiting mRNA degradation. RBPS can bind to specific elements within the mRNA, such as Aries or other regulatory sequences to influence mRNA stability. Additionally, RPPS can interact with the mRNA degradation machinery, including exonucleases and decapping enzymes to modulate mRNA decay. And the sixth one is microRNAs miRNAs. MIRNAs are small non-coding RNAs that regulate gene expression post-transcriptionally. They can bind to specific sequences within the 3 UTR of mRNA molecules, resulting in mRNA degradation or translational repression. MIRNAs can target multiple mRNAs simultaneously, providing a global mechanism for regulating mRNA stability. The last one is mRNA surveillance and quality control. Cells have surveillance mechanisms to detect and eliminate aberrant or defective mRNA molecules. Quality control pathways monitor mRNA processing and integrity and can target faulty mRNAs for degradation to prevent the production of abnormal or non-functional proteins. The regulation of mRNA stability is a complex process involving the interplay of various factors, including RPPS, miRNAs, and mRNA degradation machinery. The precise regulation of mRNA stability ensures the tight control of gene expression 
allowing cells to respond appropriately to changing environmental conditions, developmental cues, and cellular needs. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe, like, and share.